So when council designated our municipality as being dementia friendly, we really did not know what that meant at all. Um, so we did some research. We took the initiative um, to reach out to partners because uh, we knew that we couldn't do it alone. But for us to be aware of the signs of dementia, I felt um, it was really important um, for us to um, just the awareness of what somebody with dementia um, maybe is going through also and how do we as in the municipal office especially how do we deal with some of these issues where we feel that somebody might have um, some form of dementia. When I think about a dementia friendly community I think about a community where an individual who enjoys playing golf is supported to go out and play golf. And that could mean that that person is going out with their, with their three friends and they buddy up to support that person living with dementia to, to play golf. Uh, dementia friendly community means to me a community that supports, understands, loves the members of the community and helps to remove the stigmas associated with dementia. A dementia-friendly community means to me a community where uh, people suffering from dementia and their caregivers are supported, empowered, and included within their community. A dementia-friendly community is a community where everyone is valued for who they are, regardless of the challenge, um, because everyone has something to offer. It's very important because we do have an aging community, both in our municipalities and our township. And uh, I think it's very important that our guys know how to deal with people, um, be able to handle them, be caring, and, uh, and, and respect with people, and be able to understand how to actually deal with dementia. And the Alzheimer's Society providing training for us has been a, has been a key to uh, our success in dealing with several uh, people living with uh, dementia and uh, being able to deal and help them out uh, in our community. So the library um, here in Tweed is sort of a community hub. Um, we have to cater to all age groups, all um, disciplines. Um, so we realized about six months ago that there was a need um, to create these cognitive care kits and that's sort of where we're going. We've um, We've got dementia-friendly books now on our shelves to sort of um, offer that to to caregivers. Um, we have, you know, manuals on, you know, dealing with an aging relative and sort of what can I do. So those are just a few of the things that we can offer, but it's important that they're there. Um, I think congregations can support a community in being a dementia-friendly community um, through education. Um, but a big part of it is through word of mouth. Uh, when we create our community here, um, all those relationships go out to their relationships in the greater community. And that word of mouth, especially in a small community, can travel really far and create an awareness, um, can change social stigmas. So we've been um, partnering with the uh, Alzheimer's Society of Hastings Prince Edward um, since we opened and uh, they've come in and been a great help to a number of our uh, family members who have loved ones living with dementia uh, and they've helped a number of people, a uh, number of our, our, our residents, family members to adjust to, you know, and understand uh, more about dementia and the challenges they're, they're facing and living through. I think it was really important for me to become involved with dementia-friendly communities, the global movement, um, simply because the church is an aging community, gener generally speaking, and we're dealing with dementia um, within our community, uh, our congregation, um, and also uh, with our uh, community abroad in the form of, you know, we have people here that are caregivers, um, we have people that are friends of caregivers, people that are... Um, friends of people with dementia that aren't part of this community. The learning that we've received has allowed us to have better conversations with people that come into the bank. Um, even just uh, being out on the street, you know, walking down to the grocery store and, and seeing the faces that you see every day and, and maybe recognizing change in them, uh, learning how to help people listen to what they're saying and how to communicate better with people that, have, that are affected with dementia, um, not only the people themselves affected by dementia, but their families and how we can help them. I think especially over the next 10 to 20 years with the number of boomers that are going to be retiring, 
Um, there's going to be a lot of influx into our small rural communities from the city um, and it seems like dementia numbers are on the rise as well. So like any other disease that uh, that's out there, it's important to know the facts and, and be prepared to to recognize that this is going to be something that we're going to be experiencing more and more, it looks like, in, uh, in every community. So. I think in our municipality, the biggest thing I can say that we've taken away is that we now have a community where many volunteers, all the municipal staff, many businesses have come out and taken the training. And now our people have now learned how to assist people who may be living with dementia. And um, I think it's the awareness that we all have now.